tears by any angier. They are given in love by one from above who shed them at Bethany's cave and their value we know when some sudden blow has laid hedged hopes in the grave. They sometimes are seen on the cheek of the queen and oft does the cottager's face be a record of grief whose certain relief is found in the spoon of our race. The matron and bride, when standing beside the altar and half-stone, have wept. One has found in her tears a solace for years, one gratefully weeps, our woes kept. This Maxim I hold, his heart must be cold, and slow will his hand be to bless, who can witness and move the tears of a laughed, nor weep o'er another's distress. Like balm from the skies, these drops from our eyes can wash off the traces of sorrow. When the clouds of today in tears melt away, hope's rainbow outreaches our morrow. Who most freely weep the longest will keep the heart's garden free from its fawn, and the happiest live who alms with tears give and no human suffering scorn. Then through coming years let us bless God for tears, since causes for weeping abound. Tears bind heart to heart, rob pain of its start, pour oil upon every wound. Let tears be bestowed, they will lighten the load which each in his turn must sustain. Then peace, joy and rest shall visit each guest, and earth smile like Eden again.